I'll tell you a quick story. So sure enough, I put a property under contract and uh, we were buying this house, right? We were buying it cheap. I was impressed by the pictures. I said, okay, this is a good deal. I definitely want to buy it. And it was only $14,000 is the good news. And so we went ahead and purchased it, closed on it. And then I, I sent the uh, broker over there that was finding my properties for me. And, and I said, go ahead and, put the locks on it and what have you. He knew his routine and that was the routine. Go to closing, close. He got paid. He got $2,500 on every transaction of, uh, that he finds for me. And so sure enough, he goes about uh, going to the property and then he goes to the property, jiggles the door. He can't get it. They gave him the keys and it's not working. And he said, I don't understand what's going on here. Well, what had happened was he had gone to the wrong house on the same street. There was another house for sale and it was a different house. It was an altogether different house than the one that he thought he was buying for me. And certainly that I thought we were buying. So sure enough, uh, from now on, due diligence is to check the address <laughs> to verify that the property that you're purchasing is the property that you're purchasing. So uh, long story short, I did go ahead and make money off that property. We let it, uh, we let it sit there in inventory. And as the neighborhood continued to improve and, and we put it back out to the marketplace, I ended up selling that house for 10 times what I paid for it. So it worked out, it worked out. And that's one of the things I love about real estate is that it's very forgiving. It's very forgiving. If you will be patient, if you will invest the time and energy, then you can be highly successful at this business. Now, the key phrase that I just said is be patient. You must be patient. You must not run off to the next shiny new thing, but get on board, stay on board, and you can become a multimillionaire in this business. And I'm not confused about what I just said, because we've helped many people to become multimillionaires in this business and they have thriving, beautiful businesses. They're, they're offering the path to home ownership in their local market. It's quite wonderful. All right. Now on to due diligence. Not only do we want to check the address and make sure we've got the right house that we're buying. We also want to not only check the comps for that property, but we want to recheck the comps before we even close because markets go up, markets go down. We have an uh, intern working in our office. And just this week, one of the things she was shocked about is she says, well, my gosh, we just checked this house a few days ago and it's now worth $3,000 more. And I said, that's absolutely right. You have to check the comps ongoingly. So before we even put it up for our market, for our buyers, uh, we recheck the comps and sure enough, the property is actually worth more. So there's good news because constantly houses are being bought, houses are being sold, and that is affecting the marketplace. So check and recheck your comps. Now, the, uh, the other thing I want to mention to you is insurance. You want to make sure that your property is insurable and you want to make sure that you have the right kind of policy. If that property is going to be vacant for a while, you're not going to be able to put regular insurance on there. You're going to need a special type of insurance, certainly at least vacancy insurance, if not builder's risk insurance. And that means that if somebody breaks in, if somebody steals things that you're covered because otherwise you could be losing big time. And if you get a regular policy and you don't inform the insurance company that this is a investment property and that you're going to be doing repairs on this property. You might have the wrong policy on there and may not get paid at all if there's a loss. So be very careful about the insurance that you put on the property.